Face Off Challenge, Belial versus a Wraith Knight. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the first season's Face Off Tournament. As always, my name is Jay, and this is going to be potentially a short one, could be epic, might be in trouble for Belial. Today's matchup is the Wraith Knight of the Eldar, who's recently promoted to a gargantuan monster creature, and in doing so, got access to a lot of scary stuff, versus Belial. Uh, one of the best close combat hitters for the Dark Angel army. And today, uh, they'll both be proxied a little bit. Belial will be proxied as Thunderhammer Storm Shield, and the Wraith Knight will be proxied as Ghost Glaive, and uh, the basically Sword and Shield combination, which gives them Strength D in close combat. So let's go over the stats quickly. So the Wraith Knight is going to be a scary, scary beast. He's one of the front runners in this in this tournament, but I think somebody could beat him. You'll never know. But uh, basically, he has Strength D on his side. So when it, whatever he hits, Strength D. That being said, he only has a weapon skill of 4, which is lower than Belial's. So Wraith Knight will be hitting on 4s. He has a Mastercrafted sword. So he'll get about 4 attacks, Mastercrafted, uh, hitting on 4s, and then Strength D. That being said, on a 1, nothing happens on D. 2 to 5, uh, Belial gets 3 up in vulnerable save against, and if he stops that, nothing happens. The scary thing is if he rolls a 6 on the D table, or on the stomp table. Because either one, um, on the D table, it is 6 plus D6 wounds, no saves of any kind allowed, which means a dead Belial, because he doesn't get any saves, he's just dead. Because he doesn't have 6 plus D6 wounds. And on the stomp table, removed from play. That's very scary stuff for Belial. Belial will be hitting back with a few attacks, hitting on threes, wounding on fours, because he's only strength eight with a Thunderhammer Storm Shield, uh, and Wraith Knight gets a five up invulnerable save due to the shield, and a five up heal no pain. So it's gonna be a really scary battle. Now, if, if Belial can somehow survive, if the Wraith Knight doesn't, doesn't roll sixes, Belial has the chance to actually do some attacks back and actually wound the Wraith Knight. However, if the Wraith Knight rolls sixes, Dead Belial. So this could be an epic matchup. It could not be. The key is for this tournament is to find out who is going to be the most epic mo close combat monster included. And uh, some matchups will be more epic than others. And I'm hoping that as the tournament progresses, each battle will get more and more epic. So without further ado, we'll get to whoever, see who will win. Will it be the Wraith Knight or will it be Belial in this week's Face Off Challenge? What do we have here? Maybe it's time to destroy a Wraith Knight. I will crush you. With what? You're just a monstrous creature. I know. Gargantuan. Crap. Round one. Fight! Ladies first. Here we go. Force to hit. Uh oh. <laughs> and what happens on the D table? Crush. Dead Belial. Mm. <laughs> Dead. Oh. Round one goes to the Wraith Knight. Thus for calling me a lady. Round two. Fight. Force to hit. Okay. What happens on the detail? Crush you. Dead Belial again. No, I'm sorry. Oh, not again. Round three. Fight. It goes again. Four to hit. Two hits. What happens on the detail? Crush you. And once again, crush. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> so, that was quick. And just so you guys know for clarification, I have not been the one rolling for both models so far in this tournament. For half the matchups, I actually had a friend rolling for the Wraith Knight, for example, in this particular one. And each match quickly ended by just rolling a six. That's the scariness. Of this, we even forgot to take into consideration the mastercraftness of the sword. I'm pretty sure um, it was a Wraith Knight victory. And the thing is, with the Wraith Knight, no matter how many hits he got, he always rolled that six on the to wound table on the D equals a dead Belial. It didn't even get to the stomp table, 
And on the stomp, if you roll a six anyway, Belial just removed from play. So Belial actually never got any attacks in. That's pretty scary, people. The Wraith Knight might be the scariest thing in this season's tournament. We'll have to see. Um, that's pretty scary stuff. So, it happens, though. So, thank you very much for watching. I am going to put out another episode of Face Off today, since this one is pretty short. You guys deserve two episodes, because that way two episodes that are shorter equal one normal long episode. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section down below of what you thought about it, and do you think anything will beat the Wraith Knight this season? Well, stay tuned for more episodes of Face Off. Until next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting, everyone.